Three major police brutality lawsuits have been filed against the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. First Coast News has obtained all three federal complaints, two of which involve high profile cases. One is filed against a troubled officer who previously grabbed headlines for spitting on a man at a local hospital and later arrested for beating a handcuffed teenager. A second case stems from an anti-war protest in Hemming Park last April that turned violent. On your side, Ann Schindler has been digging through all three of these lawsuits. She joins us now with this exclusive report. Ann? Well, Heather, the cases are similar only because of a shared defendant, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office and the sheriff himself. But two of the cases have already made a series of very public headlines. His face looms across the city on this mural at North Florida shipyards. I'm partially deaf, so I'm going to sign But Connell Crooms may be just as well known for this moment when he was tackled by police during a protest over U.S. bombing of Syria. You're not allowed to use Amplified Voice. Five protesters were arrested after the protest at Hemming Park turned into a melee. Crooms, however, was also hospitalized. According to the lawsuit, police tackled and tased Crooms, who is deaf, rather than the instigator of the violence, counter-protester Gary Snow. The lawsuit claims police used excessive force and violated Croom's First Amendment rights by retaliating against him after he began chanting anti-police slogans. All of the protesters were initially charged with inciting a riot. The state attorney's office later dropped charges against two of the five, including Croom's, and reduced charges against the others. Now, JSO declined to comment on the case, citing the pending litigation. Another brutality lawsuit has been filed against Sergeant Timothy James. He's the officer who was arrested by his own agency for beating a teenager while he was handcuffed in the back of a squad car. I'll have details on that lawsuit coming up at 6. Back to you.